on right here. So, welcome to another episode today, folks. Nick and John here. We are actually at the world's largest candy store in Minnesota. So, here, got a lot of options, got a lot of jams right up the bat. Even got some Japanese sodas over there. Kind of cool to see that. Really love the atmosphere here. Got some baby shark. SpongeBob. Oh, Never one. Lend us your power. Make, press that like button to increase the spirit bomb. Press the like button. Oh, now comment, now comment, now comment, now comment. <laughs> and now share! <laughs> There's enough power! I don't know if you'll keep that, but I'll it. It probably will. They have your fresh made pies here. Awesome place to take pictures. <laughs> There she is, Queen Elsa. Got Sven, Anna, and Olaf. And Bo Beep. Yeah, this is a cool place. I, I always enjoy coming here whenever I get the chance to stop. Oh my goodness. So that's what happened to Annoying Orange. If you ever been to Epcot back in the day, there was actually a ride that had these in their kitchen too. Why is that so creepy up there? Go this Dobby. That is a, has presented Dobby with a sock. That is a very creepy Dobby. Dobby is high as a kite right now. Dobby looks like he's seen some things. <laughs> Oh, this is kind of cool. Now you're kind of going to a superhero zone. Silver Surfer. There's another throwback. Obviously, you got Superman, Batman. You got Captain America, Spider Man. Is that Ant Man? Or Woman? Oh, that's Wasp. Oh, Wasp. Oh, and then you got the trio behind you. The Gotham oh. trio. Let's see here. There they are. Black pudding. Why am I standing in the bathroom like this? I'm getting sick. There's the Hulkbuster. And you got the four up there. You got Spider-Man hanging from the ceiling as usual. You got yeah. Thor. Super Woman, well, I mean, God Lord, Wonder Woman. There you go. Why am I having brain farts today? Oh yeah, we worked. We had to work all day. Uh, Black Panther, and then I believe Flash. Oh, there is War Machine. Tiramisu flavored uh, taffy. I don't need anymore. They have like ten of Oh, them. watermelon? Yeah. Well, watermelon's usually always a good flavor to go to. It's true. Jolly Rancher is also a good choice for a watermelon flavor. You might want a uh, cow pie. What'd you find? <laughs> I'm a sucker for milk. I can't help it. Hey, milk is good. It is. Stan Kankin Delicious. Terry, you got him? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, lint. Here we got candles. Truffles. And we got some soap. This kind of has a little bit of everything here for you. Oh, 
Oh, there's even more now. You're a wizard, Harry. A what? A wizard. A what? Of course. Gotta have Thanos. Oh my. There's an ET over there. There's the Futurama ship. We love a good Futurama. Good show. Great show. This one's, a, this one's a cool room. You got some Japanese snacks here even. That you're not going to be able to find here, obviously. Got some mozzarella cheese sticks, actually, flavored. Interesting. Anything good over there, John? Anything yummy? Peanut mochi. Ooh. I said yummy. <laughs> oh, actually, I've heard that these are delicious. I've actually heard that these are actually really delicious. What are they? It's like chocolate covered, like kind of like a cookie. But it's, I've heard there's a debate about which one's better. It's like the, the cones, like the snail shells versus the mushrooms. Interesting. Well, oh, there's your guardian to the galaxy. Hey, you even got a Spaceballs reference in there. <laughs> Oh, they got some, uh, the stick with me. Yep. That's it. What do we got over here? Looks like some different Chips Ahoy's on Oreo flavors. Nope, oh, someone cracked open this day, okay? Second time now. <laughs> I just want to make a note for the reference. I did not say that, so government, don't come after me. <laughs> you can come after him. I didn't even mean that initial event. It's like, oh no, there's a good joke there. <laughs> and here's all your little kid stuff. Big kid stuff approved. You're going to get in so much trouble for that, John. I just hope you realize them. Okay, who remembers these back in the day? I remember them, but I never had one. I had them one time, and they were weird. I didn't know how to react to it. Also, I used to have one of these. So for I used to have the uh, pump it and shoot ones. Oh, I never had one of those. My friend just had like some PVC pipe and just use that just blew through it. You can be a snakey snake. Or a witch. Or an alien. Kinda cool. Love to see the different ones. Oh, kinda like a skull. Skull and brains. Yeah. And then you have the gummy hot dogs. Oh even a gummy lunchables. That's actually kinda cool. I never found those to be gummy bacon. <laughs> Makes sense. Horrible, horrible. Oh, Smurfs. Jack Sparrow. What are you talking about, Mike? Also, it's Captain Jack Sparrow. So yeah, this is a. Uh, it's a candy store, but it's also kind of a variety of mixed toys and stuff like that, too. So, they have a little bit of everything. We're going to go back around here again. Kind of see what we can find. Goals to at least find one thing to bring back home. There's my guy. 
Make sure you guys phone home whenever you can. That's a big old box of dots. Yep, I actually used to enjoy eating those back in the day. Oh yeah, dots are delicious. But they're, they're not. Good. They're kind of boring now to me though. I still think they're good, but man, it's like. Used to be my uh, go-to movie snack. Uh, same. That and Three Musketeers. Ooh, another good one. What is? Like I don't know why. What is your guys' go-to movie snacks? What do you guys enjoy bringing with you? Let me know down below. Can we put a blanket statement that popcorn is there? It was blank, popcorn is a Yes, you cannot, you cannot choose popcorn because that is just a guaranteed. Ooh, some different uh, juicy fruits. Oh, uh, look at the bubble yums. I haven't had a bubble yum in forever. Don't worry, guys. We will always last longer than those will. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, I haven't thought about food stripes in a decade and a half at least. <laughs> I got an upgrade from getting those tattoos put on me to having actual tattoos. That's true. Patrick Star. LeBron James. Oh, there's a guy who I grew up with. Tommy Pickles. Do they ever eat pickles? I don't know. He was a baby, so I don't know. But it was also a baby that went on adventures in Paris and stuff like that, so. Yeah, they made friends with Reptar. Reptar. They used to sell that as a uh, actual chocolate that would turn your tongue green. Oh. I think I remember that. Yeah, they actually made it based off of that movie. Chunky cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is awesome and terrifying. What do we got there? Uh, uh, oh, oh, that's a full on leg. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly didn't think I was going to shoot out like that. Oh, uh, look, look inside of it, it looks awful. It's like. <laughs> Whoa. You just see it all the time. <laughs> hey, we appreciate thighs. And classic. Appreciate the classics. We all started somewhere. <laughs> all bean boozled. Looks like a failed version of Tigger. Yeah, it looks like it looks like Chinese Tigger. Hey, it's a creepy ass toy. That haunts you in your dreams. Just look at that face. Look at it. Okay, no more nightmares. Oh, like Jelly Belly. Like, oh, the Jelly Belly is in like a little bottle. I haven't thought about these. Beer ones. flavored jelly bean. What do you guys think? Do you think that could be interesting? That's, I, that's an interesting one. Coconut gel cubes? Grape flavored. It's okay. Fibrous plus we're all free, free delicious dessert. Oh sounds uh what's on the other side? You want sounds weird. Oh, oh. Sometimes it's fun to come into these because you can also can be a, a little kid as well. I mean who doesn't enjoy being a little kid anymore? Milk paint. Just add water. Interesting. Okay, traffic jam, traffic jam. Shout out to the toxic waste. Yep. We are now in Sour Alley. I never was a fan of Warheads. I'm not the biggest fan of Sour in general. I know. If you ever want to see me pucker, all you gotta do is buy me like probably the least 
sour thing, and it'll probably get me to go. Wait, what was that? Didn't Airheads have like those sour ones back in the day, like those sour strips? Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking about those. Nope, nope. They definitely had those back in the day. Oh, these were the ones I was thinking of as well. Oh, so like these right here? Yeah. Uh, except those things were one of those like multi-flavored, so. I don't know if those are strips or not, but. No, I was more like these guys. Sour belts like this. Oh. Those <clears throat> I choose delicious. And now we have more. Voldemort, Voldemort. Who Voldy, 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 Voldemort? Oh no. Incredibles. Free concert. I am terrified. Oof. Guinness flavored chips. What flavored? Oh, Guinness. Guinness. Rich, Rich chili, chili flavored. That sounds kind of tasty, actually. Yeah, no. I, that, that's going to be a hard pass for me. Oh. Got the Pac Man ghost. Paw Patrol. There's Pac Man. There's a ton of sweet carrots over here. I know Molly from Myth Club would appreciate it. Let's see if we can get it just right. It is Buzz. And you got Sully. Hey, Zoltar, how you been? There's a mic. Ha, ah, it is Zoltar. There's Pocky. Aren't those the people who made the uh, one chip challenge? I think so. Oh, which I still have. Speaking of which, there. Speak, and you, speak of the devil, and they shall appear. You know what? Your butthole. If, uh, if we get enough subscribers, I may be willing to actually take it on for you guys, and you guys can actually see me in pain. I'll do it. I already have one in my apartment. So there you go, guys. There's your challenge. Hit 100 subscribers. Mm. I will do the one chip challenge. What'd you find? Carolina Re Ooh. Oofta. We in the spicy place now. We're in my territory. Thank you. Oh, Wreck It Ralph. Minions. Banana. What'd you find? Cinnamon sugar pretzel sticks. That actually probably wouldn't be too bad. Actually, legit, you're right. Actually, cinnamon sugar is always a good one. Also, maple and brown butter. Ooh. Oh, that's not too bad. Good old Pez. <laughs> I haven't had Pez in ages. Mm, Genie. Oh, they, no. they have a little bit of variety. Old Blues Clues here. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, my. Now, here's a movie that I actually grew up with, too. Spirit? That's from the TV show, I think. There's a Netflix it, show. It's the TV version, but that's still... I actually have that on VHS. Oh, yeah, me too. Oliver? There's a lot of those sugars. Oh, that creepy picture. Hey, I should get that other book that says whatever happens. <laughs> edible rocks? Yeah. Yeah. Even edible seashells. Oh, oh what? Oh, interesting. 
Voodoo Rocks. Chili infused shark chocolate. Oof. I can see why they're called Voodoo Rocks. So we're having you doing voodoo. Again, <laughs> Here you guys go. Oh, and crickets. Watermelon's the best flavor of these. Watermelons. These are the best. Watermelon's the best flavor of these. Scorpions. Oh yeah, I've had the scorpion one twice. I swear by the scorpions actually. But they're Jamaica and crickets. Hey, you know what they say? You're making me crazy. Walk, walk, walk. Well. All right, folks. John may no longer be participating in these videos <laughs> if he survives this one. Dino dung, elk scat, rabbit Ooh, poo, moose pop. Also, talk about a voice crack. Chocolate covered cookie dough. Interesting. <laughs> hey, you want a different kind of trail mix? Oh, I'm good. I am 100% good. You don't want a giant water scorpion or a diet? No, no. I, I'm, I'm good. I can tell you that much. No. I don't want a damn tarantula. Make it to 500 subscribers and we'll do all those. There you go, folks. I guess if we hit 500 subscribers, I'll do a bag of crickets or something. I'll eat. We need to start you off on like the baby stuff. We'll do the crickets. Ooh, look. Here you go, John. <laughs> this is laboratory smells. Apple blossom and citrus scent. That actually smells. That actually smells that good. That probably wouldn't be too bad of a smell. Let's see. You got total eclipse of the fart. Titanic. Who let the dogs out? Oh, logs out. Huh. That's a spicy meatball. No shift, Sherlock. Oh, do I? I will say, there's no shift, Sherlock. Not that much. What's it smell like? Light lemon and cedar scent. That'd be actually not be bad. For crime scenes of all types and sizes. <laughs> I actually might have to come back and get that here. And it is us, so we'll make some crime scenes. Oh, we will be more than just doing oh, crime scenes. Terrifying. How about a uh, bendable party mustache? Yeah. But don't worry, we're gonna build that wall first to catch that fish. It's actually a fishing lure, which is hilarious. It's gonna keep all the fish away. Chicharrones. Ah, bacon aioli. Hot pepper bacon. Chicharrones. Oh, Bacon air freshener. Yeah, I do not need that. Also, I don't think any bacon needs more salt. I think bacon is salty. Oh, you can never have enough bacon. Bacon? Sure. Salt. Oh, salt bacon. I love it. Oh, that's cool. It's a whole penny press. Speaking of Hulk, there he is. Jimmy's mom, would you like my croissant? Let me reference this when we finish this video. <laughs> Never enough. It, it does smell very good over here though. Oh yeah, absolutely. It smells sweet and nice. Shortbread cookies are really good. Ooh, milk and make cookies? Make These biscuits. ones are, uh, that's my preferred one. Or milk and make biscuits. Why not get them and try it? I have the candy, and that's what I really want. But we also have to know about the digestive biscuits. I mean, you can have French butter cookies, but does it come with a hat? Let me know. Post in the comments what kind of hat that is. Oh, 
bugs. Okay, those legitimately small bugs actually on the but ceiling. There is a small ant man there, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Emphasis on very small. Hey, it's good old Pappy. A whirly pop, open fire pop, popcorn popper kit. Who used to eat these? I always ate the Krabby Patties. Right here, these are the ones I actually eat usually. Oh, we gotta go for another classic one for the movies. Oh, yep. Whoppers. Oh, snow caps. I forgot those even existed. Or nerds, another one. Or cookie dough bites. Ooh, beer bread. Yum. So, yeah, as you guys can tell, this is a very good size store. Like, very, very good size. So it's always fun to see what's new and changed in here. Because they usually do switch out stuff every so often. Your different alcoholic mixes. Oh, well, hello, Mr. Bear. What'd you find? Bada bing. Bada bing. Bada boom. Quit thinking like me, John. Can't say you've been to Wisconsin without getting cheese curds. And we're not even in Wisconsin. But definitely a great, great pet brand. I don't know, said group. It's not even a group. Go on in, John. Let's see what you look like. Can I fit through this doorway? John's gonna be a pretty little princess. I haven't been little since I was born. You look pretty though. Pretty ugly. Uh -huh. There's an up close of John right there. Hello. <laughs> Seven days. Wow. Mm, those pies smell good. So then we're kind of back to the beginning here where we originally started to walk into. Got all your different types of sodas and pops here. I actually will be on the market for my dad to see what I can find for him. But I will see you guys when I get back. Alrighty, so that is our haul for today. That was Minnesota's largest candy store. Overall, such a fun place. I love it. The variety that they have there is always fun. John, what did you think for your first time? First time? That was pretty amazing. I got a bit of a haul and I'm excited for all of it so yeah that's a pretty cool place even if you don't buy anything it's just like holy crap there's so much stuff to get here or at least look at like those chocolate rocks or the um uh, the amount of malt balls they have they have a hell of a lot of malt balls oh yes they do just like taffy they have a whole plethora of that true so my haul was I just got myself some good old Sioux City sarsaparilla I may need John to actually pop my top. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, John. If you had a better grip on it, there you go. All right. We're not making this any better, are we? Oh, shush. No. So, cheers and cheers to you. Thank you for stopping on by, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Come back for more content. We're going to do some more fun stuff. The weather is just now starting to actually get nice out, so we can actually do more outdoor content for you guys. Hopefully going to be going to the Arboretum, which is our, it's kind of like a flower and plant conservatory. It's massive. It's really beautiful. Maybe John will come with. Maybe it'll be me and my mom. 
who knows that's the fun part about the surprise so have a great day guys enjoy it and we'll see you later scale <laughs>